Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here with a quick video to show off our brand new arcade setup here at the PC Bros headquarters, which is right next to Toasty Bros headquarters. If you haven't seen any of our blogs, hit the on the top right corner so you can check out the move. Now what we have right here is a bunch of arcade one-up arcade cabinets. Now this is a brand that does a lot of limited releases of certain arcade cabinets, and they normally sell them at Walmart. So you can actually go pick these up locally if you're interested. And we actually bought all of these from a guy who buys them and decided to, well, build them and sell them at a slightly uptick price. And it was a good idea for us because one, we had our uh, editor McAllister build this one and it did take him about an hour or so to actually build it. So we decided to go ahead and get all of these. Uh, we have all of these arcade cabinets that the idea is once people walk into our PC business, PC bros, they can come in and play on the arcade. Of course, with COVID and everything out of the way, eventually in the future, we can actually do that. Um, we wanna do more in-person stuff, but we're setting up for the future. And Jackson actually built this beautiful uh, box so everything is at like uh, level height because before these things don't come with actual boxes you have to pay separately for them uh, this right here was a couple dollars extra it was actually pretty expensive I can't remember the exact price but having these extra like decal boxes was not worth it, especially paying for four more of them because none of them actually came with it but more about these cabinets we have a couple right here this has Street Fighter 2 on it which is a bunch of different Street Fighter games all these cabinets come with multiple games installed as you can see in the front right here we have Street Fighter 2 the new challengers and Street Fighter 2 Turbo, so we can actually play these games on the RK 1UP cabinets. They all have some pretty nice screens to them, and I think the build quality is really good. Um, the one guy we bought all these from did mention there are some mods you can get to get like better uh, joysticks. You can get, for this one in particular, for the Asteroids one, a smoother knob if you want to get a much cleaner experience, um, but really that's not something we're super interested in. We just want to have something that people can come in, some customers can, while they're hanging out waiting for a PC consultation, or to come pick up their computer, they can play some good old arcades and see where uh, gaming came from. So we have all these right here. I'll go ahead and open up Street Fighter, which I've been getting absolutely whooped playing Street Fighter by myself. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try this while also holding a GoPro. And the volume controls are pretty simple as well. There are different models that have different volume controls. This model does have just basically off, medium, and loud. And it is really loud, um, as you can hear. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into some uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, I'm basically just gonna sit here and get whooped because I'm using one hand. Oh god, this this AI is intense. I can't even I can't even hang. I can't even hang with this AI. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Oh, oh, we're battling back. Here we go. Oh, I'm done, so. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, now I'm done. But hey, there you go. There's the arcade cabinet. You can turn it off there. Same thing goes for all these. I'll go ahead and turn them on so you can see what they look like all lit up. But there's a bunch of different ones. We have Rampage, we have Asteroids, we have Galaga, we have Final Fight, and there's a bunch of other games on these cabinets. Galaga, um, we have Rampage, Gauntlet, Joust Defender, Asteroids, Major Havoc, uh, Lunar Lander, and Tempest, and then 1944, Ghosts and Goblins, and Strider. So, bunch of different games, a lot of different things that people come and play. And I just wanted to do a quick showcase of our mini arcade because hopefully when COVID is long past and everyone is back to normal, we can do some lands here. We can have some cool events inside this room where local people can come and play games with us. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a very quick tour of our new arcade cabinet setup. If you want to purchase any of these arcade cabinets, I'll try my best to link in the description down below. Once again, they do mainly sell these at Walmart. So that's probably your best bet to go find them. And they are normally limited release. There are some collector's editions ones too, where they just release very small amounts. So definitely consider picking those up if you are somebody who likes to collect things like that. Once again, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.